it's almost 2024 and I don't feel like creating new best certification videos because what we have in 2023 is still valid in 2024. For those who haven't checked our best certification videos, kindly check our playlist or click the link below. You know, I'm always a fan of vendor certifications because you can play around with their devices, various solutions and various platforms while you prepare for the certification exam. You will not only understand the theoretical concepts, but also gain practical proficiency in those associated technologies. So, based on my 20 years of experience in IT field and over 10 years in training slash consulting industry with over 70 valuable certifications, we're going to focus on certifications from the top two vendors. So first one is Cisco. They still have the best certifications, value-wise and popularity-wise. Second would be AWS or Amazon Web Services, the leading cloud service provider. Let's compare what certifications on both vendors you can achieve per level and per specializations. For those who are new to this channel, welcome. I am your host, named Steen Armada, and I am career and certification captain. And on this channel, we talk about tech careers and certifications, trivia tutorials in cybersecurity, trivia tutorials in cloud and data center, and my journey as an IT instructor. So feel free to check out the rest of the channel and consider subscribing. Let's start with the foundational or entry level certifications. So Cisco just released this year their new entry level certifications. This is called CCSD or Cisco Certified Support Technician. And we have two tracks, cybersecurity and networking. There is no real counterpart of AWS foundational certification, but between the two CCSDs, I would say CCSD networking would be more appropriate. It equips candidates with skills to design, implement, and troubleshoot network devices. And it covers basics networking, such as subnetting, VLANs, NAT, routing, and basic security as well. This includes encryption, firewalls, AAA, and many more. It costs 125 US dollars. For AWS, we have AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner. This is the super beginner level of AWS certifications and is perfect for those starting out in the world of cloud technology. It covers cloud basics, overview of AWS services, basic security and compliance, building and pricing models, and global infrastructure of AWS. It aims to provide well-rounded understanding of essential cloud principles. The cost is only 100 US dollars, and it's easy to get 50% discount. So the total would be just 50 US dollars. So what do you think is better? I know, it depends. It's always it depends. But for me, I would choose AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner because I believe it has more value. Let's now move to the associate level. No need for introduction on this. CCNA or Cisco Certified Network Associate is still the most popular IV certifications out there. It's like a passport to understanding and working with computer networks. It's the certification that proves you know your way around routers and switches. CCNA is not just networking, such as routing protocols, VLANs, STPs, link redundancy, and many others. They also introduced Cisco Secure Solutions, such as next generation firewalls, VPNs, IPS, SD-WAN, AAA, etc. It costs 300 US dollars. Next, we have AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate. It's a credential that demonstrates proficiency in designing and implementing scalable, secure, and cost-effective solutions on AWS platforms. It signifies the ability to architect robust systems, positioning individuals as skilled professionals capable of leveraging AWS services to meet business requirements. I took this exam 
and I really see it's more focused on systems and networks, such as EC2, VPCs, NACL security groups, RDS, gateway routers, and AWS security solutions. It costs 150 US dollars, but with 50% discount, would only cost 75 US dollars. So, which one is better? Hmm, I would go for the more popular. CCNA or Cisco Certified Network Associate. Let's talk about developer certifications of both vendors. So next, Cisco Certified DevNet Associate. This certification talks about application development and programming and how to automate networks using programming languages such as Python using many different APIs. It covers basics of networking. They also introduce cloud and Linux technologies. It doesn't cover the basics of Python though, but covers containers and orchestration tools such as Docker and Ansible as well. The certification exam costs 300 US dollars. Then we have AWS Certified Developer Associate. This certification is designed to validate a candidate's proficiency in developing, testing, and deploying and debugging AWS cloud-based applications. It also validates a candidate's ability to complete the following tasks, development and optimizing applications and packages, deploying using continuous integration and continuous delivery workflow or CIDCD workflow, identify and resolve application issues using AWS. And like AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate, it only costs 150 US dollars, but with 50% discount, it would only cost 75 USD. So, which one is better? This is really tough. If we're talking about value-wise, I would go for Cisco Certified DevNet Associate. But if we're talking about value with the certification exam cost, that's only 75 US dollars. Um, that's for AWS Certified Developer Associate. That's it. Cisco versus AWS entry level and associate level certifications. What do you think? Do you agree with my verdict? We'll continue the comparison, professional or specialization level on the next video.